Oh yes, what you're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak, because this is from Ninja Foodie, and you know Ninja Foodie is always going to innovate. So how about, how about we bring you a multi-cooker that's going to replace eight different appliances? Can you imagine one appliance that will do everything from sous vide to steam, if you want to saute, if you want to slow cook? You can slow cook. If you want to put this in the oven, it can go in the oven up to 500 degrees. Eight different ways that you are going to be able to use this. But even more in terms of how you're going to use it and the capacity is crazy. Eight and a half quarts. What we're doing today is absolutely unheard of. We have never featured this as a today's special. We have some special colors for you that you can't find anywhere except right here at HSN. And you're going to see some amazing food being cooked right here in what you are going to use every single day in every single way to cook every single thing that you want. And as we get ready for the holidays, this is your answer to everything. But the affordability of what we're doing today, $119.99. And like I said, this is going to replace eight different items. If you purchase this separately, what you're going to pay just for the cooker, okay, just for that, is going to be just about $150, but we're including extras. You're gonna get the rack. You're also going to get your meat separators as well. So if you wanna do a pulled pork, anything like that, you can do that. We're including all the extras. And then, like I said, under $120, free shipping and handling as well. So let me go through the colors because we do have some special colors that we are sharing with you today that only are available here at HSN. So the one right here is our white color. We also have it available right back here is going to be the charcoal. This is uh, exclusive to us. Nowhere else can you find that charcoal except right here. It's also been very popular on the day. This is your stone right next to that. I think it's one of the prettiest colors that we have offered. Also available in your Merlot if you like something that has a little bit more color and personality. And this is my other favorite right down here. This is going to be our sea salt gray. Almost has a, pulls a little bit of blue. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually going to just pick this up because you have to see just the capacity of what we're doing here today. Eight and a half quarts that you could even, if you want to do sous vide to steaming, to sauteing, to sa slow cooking, you can do it all. In fact, if you want to do a big pot of chili, I don't mean big pot, I mean super size pot, like Rochelle Lucas is doing mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> you can feed the team, okay? Unbelievable how you're going to be able to use this. And I love that it's a small compact size too, so it's not mm -hmm. going to take up too much, uh, too much room on your counter or wherever you choose to, uh, to use it. Rochelle? Yes. When it comes to Ninja Foodie, <laughs> this has become one of our top sellers ever. Top selling lines ever at HSN because of their innovation and because their products just work so beautifully. Mm -hmm. And this is one of, one of I know, your personal favorites. Yes. Because of just the, the flexibility that you have with this. Yes. So you can do chili for up to 20 people. So, you know, imagine... <laughs> Wait, only 20? Only 20, right? <laughs> so imagine, you know, tailgating or, you know, your church function or book club um, or even just meal prep. If you want to do this on a Sunday and have your, you know, meal set for the week or your lunches set for the week, you can do that too. But I love it because it's cozy food season, right? It's fall. Okay. It's when we want to do our comfort foods and our soup and our stews and our chilies, but what makes this different is that it also will sear and saute. It will also braise. It will also bake your bread. So it's a true eight-in-one multi-cooker. So if your slow cooker at home can't do all of those things, you know, it might be time to upgrade uh, this season, especially since it's getting into that cozy food season. Look, look, at, the, look at just the functions this can do. It can slow cook. It can saute, sear. It can braise. It can bake, you can bake bread in this thing. It is absolutely incredible, right? Steam, sous vide. I mean, how much do you spend? How much would you spend on just something that would do sous vide? And then you also have your proof as well. Everything, all of those different functions mm -hmm. that you have. So this can actually replace up to, and I think I said it wrong because Frankly, it's hard to wrap your head around. 
fact that this can replace up to 14 different tools and yes. appliances. Look at what this can, look at what you can either <clears throat> donate or maybe share with another family member. Slow cooker, steam oven, a food warmer, sous vide, saute pan, cast iron silk, skillet. You can actually get a great sear in this. A saute, integrated spoon, bread maker, roasting pan, Dutch oven, nonstick stock pot, a saucepan, <clears throat> And oh, by the way, it, 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 you can also steam in it. Okay. Yes. Eight and a half quart capacity on this. This is the one you have been waiting for. And at this price, I don't know how you can afford not to do this, frankly, for under 100. You would expect something like this to yes. easily be like $250, maybe even $300 for all of these different functions. And by the way, we're including a recipe book. Exactly. And I wanted you to notice before I add the other ingredients in here, how nonstick this is. And so, you know, personally, you know, I love my Dutch oven, but my Dutch oven's heavy and things will stick to the bottom. Nothing's sticking to the bottom here. And so now I'm using all of my Dutch oven recipes in my possible cooker uh, where I can sear the meat, where I can, you know, cook down my vegetables if I want to. But if you hear that sizzle, you know, that's what makes this different is that I can get that nice caramelization on my meat and then build up my soups and stews. So what that means for you is you're going to have added flavor you know, on the pork uh, that I'm going to show you in a little bit, it's going to have that extra, like, barbecue bark that you're used to getting, uh, you know, when you go to your favorite um, barbecue place. So now I've added my vegetables. I'm going to add my broth. And then what we would do is we would cover this and slow cook it. So we would switch from sear and saute and then switch to the slow cooking function. And then after about six hours, this is what it would look like. And so this is the same recipe that we just did mm -hmm. with the uh, pot roast. And look at how juicy and tender oh, and wow. delicious this is. This is such a big piece of meat. I'm actually gonna use the uh, meat shredders that we're including with it to pick it up to give to uh, place it. <laughs> let's see how far you get with those. <laughs> let's see, let's see if I start to shred it. Let's see, let's see. Tender. It looks really oh. tender but yeah. it is a big piece of meat. And wow. so I'm going to, I feel like I'm bobbing for apples instead of, <laughs> instead of bobbing for apples, I'm bobbing for, uh, for pot roast. There we go. Wow. And let me just shred this up a little bit so you can see, look at how tender, delicious, <laughs> and juicy. Oh my goodness, look at that. And so imagine being able to do this pot roast on your Sunday. Uh, you know, uh, the whole house is gonna smell wonderful. Um, thank you. <laughs> I was about to uh, have a little kitchen accident there with the, uh, with the, um, the uh, broth carafe. there, the carafe. So here, let me put my vegetables next to it, but doesn't this look oh. delicious? I wish you could, at home could I just wanna take smell. the rest of it and put it into a soup bowl oh, and just slurp that down. Absolutely, absolutely. Like let me get some of the juices there on top too. Oh, that looks amazing. And so, you know, I feel like we're in that cozy food season. We want the whole house to smell good. All day today, everyone's like, the whole studio smells like fall. And it's because we've got all these delicious things cooking that we love throughout the season. And this is that time when we want those hearty foods. We want that rustic look, mm -hmm. look and feel. And especially as we get into entertaining, can you imagine being able to do almost anything that you're cooking for your Thanksgiving, for your, your holiday meals? Right here, one pot. One pot. I mean, one pot is going to do so much. Eight and a half quart capacity. You know, if you went out and just bought, if you just bought, for example, a stock pot, mm -hmm. an eight to nine, nine quart stock pot, what would you spend for that? Look at what you're getting at this price. And by the way, just those, those uh, meat shredders that, that you just saw, mm -hmm. I think that's like a, what, a $15, $15 value right there. So when you look at what the extras mm -hmm. were giving you on top of this crazy price, yeah. this is the day that you really go, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm, we're entertaining this year. Got Rich's whole family. Nice, you need this then. Four, 14 <laughs> people, I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm a little bit stressed, <laughs> but you know what? This is what makes everything manageable. Absolutely. But it not only makes it manageable, it makes it easy and it makes it delicious. To be able to do everything from sous vide to steam yes. to saute to <laughs> slow cook, it is incredible to have all of those options for $100 and $20, and we're gonna ship it to you absolutely free. Again, if you want the Merlot, Merlot is selling the fastest right now. I believe it is also the most limited. I'll double check on that, but really a beautiful color that mm -hmm. you cannot buy anywhere except for here. It's uh, a beautiful color for the holidays. Limited, what is, 
white is most limited at this point, which is mm -hmm. the one I think right by you. Yes, and if you want, let me show you the front panel and how it works as well. So um, it basically, it's so easy to use. You have your eight different functions in the front, um, and whichever one those camera zooms into is one I'll talk to. They're, they're going for the white one here. And it's probably gonna tell me add pot. Yeah, it's gonna say add pot. This is a feature of my, my uh, macaroni and cheese in the oven, and I'm gonna go get that here in a minute. But basically, you would go through and select which one that you wanna use from slow cook to sear, saute, steam, keep warm, uh, sous vide, braise, bake, and proof. So even for your baking, if you wanna proof your dough, this is that perfect, um, you know, the possible cooker's perfect for proofing dough because it does have that triple fusion heat where you're getting heat from the bottom, heat from the sides, and then also heat from steam. So it provides that little extra kiss of moisture that you need for proofing your doughs. Um, but I love that you can sear and saute and then turn it to slow cook so that way you don't have to go from stove top to your slow cooker, it's true one pot cooking. Plus, the pot is really elegant looking. You can bring mm -hmm. it to the table and, and serve directly mm -hmm. from the pot, and it's mm. oven safe up to 500 degrees. So I'm gonna walk over to the oven and get our macaroni and cheese. You make a <laughs> mean pot roast, girl. Oh my oh, God, the I'm so flavor, glad you're enjoying it, yeah. The flavor of that thyme, you put fresh thyme in there, <clears throat> and the wine, mm -hmm. everything. But uh, again, look at how easy this is just to pick up and serve. Mm -hmm. I love it. And is this up to 500 degrees? Up to 500 degrees. Which is almost unheard of in yes. any pan of any kind by any manufacturer. Yes. Oh my God. And the reason what you would, have you done? <laughs> so the reason you'd want that 500 degrees is obviously you can uh, bake and cook in the possible cooker. We mm -hmm. put it in the oven uh, on broil just to get this nice crispiness on the top of our mac and cheese. This and is, this recipe <laughs> is included in I'm the book. Pretty this, sure is this is illegal in this is, <laughs> okay. this oh. is our buffalo chicken mac and cheese. No, so didn't. imagine having this at your neck tailgate or you know <laughs> uh anything throughout the fall thanksgiving even you know a lot of times around thanksgiving the sides are cold because mm -hmm. everybody's been waiting for the turkey all day and then the side, look at that cheese oh my oh, goodness wow um so, you know so now you all your sides can be warm and then people can kind of serve themselves because you've got the spoon that rests on top uh you can put it on that keep warm function there are forks there if you want to yes, dig right are, in and i'm gonna just <laughs> get right on there i've never had this now it's buffalo, buffalo. chicken mac and cheese all right do is there a recipe Somewhere yes, like there is a recipe included in the book that you awesome. get with your possible okay. cooker. So once you get it home, you can actually make this recipe. This is right out of the oven. I don't know how hot this Go is. Go ahead and blow be. on it a little bit. Blow on it a little bit. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Go. <laughs> mm. That's when something tastes so good. You know, you can't. You mm -hmm. just can't wait. You just have to blow on a little mm -hmm. bit. But look mm. at how cheesy that is. Look at how nothing is sticking to the oh, sides. Wow, so it is non-stick. It's also very easy to clean. The pot and the lid are also dishwasher safe. Oh my and God. So, Look at how it's just pulling away from yes. the sides of this. That is so delicious. Yes. It's crazy. And you know, it's got chicken oh. in there, so I consider that a complete meal. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Oh my yeah. gosh. And so again, the way the heat works on it is um, you have triple fusion heat. And so that makes it a little different than other slow cookers out there in that you have heat from the bottom, heat from the sides, and then heat from the steam that's created too. So you, that's why it's able to cook 30% faster than like your big oven. So when you are doing your pot roast, when you are doing your bigger meats, you're going to save a little time in uh, cook time too. Um, but let's say like, you know, you're going to get this through the holidays and you're going to use it a ton in the fall, but come January when you want to eat healthy, it does come with a roast rack. <laughs> so you can use the roasting rack to do your bigger meats and this really helps you pull it up and out. Um, but then you can also flip it over and use it this way to do like your steamed vegetables or if you want to do, um, you know, your boiled salmon. eggs. Salmon. Perfect yeah. for that. Perfect okay, for that. Just for that. The, the rack itself, $20. Mm -hmm. uh, another $15 for our meat shredders that we're, that we're giving it. You're looking at $35. When you do the math on this, it is absolutely, really, truly an incredible $65 off of retail on this one. Look at what, if you purchase this separately, don't do it. <laughs> Please don't, just do it today. I love the fact that, again, if you were to just get a, a pot like this, an eight and a half quart stock pot of any kind, imagine what you would pay for that. This is included, okay? Look, you just pull this right out, goes right to the table, nice and piping hot, and you're serving in it, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Huge capacity, it is perfect for the holidays, but it's perfect, if, I don't care if it's just the two of you, yeah. because if you wanna do, for example, little salmon, little um, asparagus mm -hmm. on here, so steam it any way you wanna do it, but all of these options, I can't believe you can even bake bread. Sous vide, a bread maker, what do you spend of, 
go shop on us right now. HSN.com. Yeah. I, I can almost tell you what you're gonna what you're gonna spend on a bread maker. Absolutely. And there's so many different things you can do. You can sear and saute directly in the pot. It is oven safe up to 500 degrees, both the pot and the lid. Um, it's elegant. So you know when you're picking your color, remember you're gonna be able to bring that to the table too. So it comes in an elegant cooking pot that you can even use, you know, outside of the possible cooker. Um, and it does have that true eight in one functionality. So if you love slow cooking, but maybe you know your slow cooker doesn't have that sear saute function and you're using your stove top first and then adding it to your slow cooker, maybe it's time to upgrade, especially for, you know, the season of food that we're getting into because I love that I can sear and saute right in the pot. And so and what you know, you one of the other things I like about being able to sear and saute mm -hmm. in this particular pot, look at how, how big the sides are. Yes. They're so, so high that I'm not, you know, getting oil and, and popping all over my kitchen. Exactly. Exactly. And so what you see here is we've actually are starting to build a, build build up a uh, bolognese sauce and so we've got our carrots our onions and our ground beef in there now I'm going to add my uh, tomato sauce and then we're going to add a little bit of wine and so even for like your Sunday sauce when you're building up your sauce now I'm doing we've already uh, cooked the meat uh, thoroughly and stuff here but you know if I were going to cook this on a Sunday at home I'd probably let it cook for about three hours we're just doing a little fast cook on here we've reduced the um, amount that we're using so we could cook it for TV but when I cooked this at home it's actually on my Instagram today I filled the pot <laughs> I and made, invited the neighborhood <laughs> I made enough uh, gnocchi bolognese for for the whole neighborhood to come over and so I'm just stirring this together. Um, I'm going to add my gnocchi here too. So, you know, it is that cozy food season. It's when we want to kind of, you know, dump all the ingredients in, you know, let it cook all day and then have dinner ready for us at night and have the whole house smelling wonderful. But the beauty of this is, yes, it's cozy food season mm -hmm. and yes, it's slow cooking season and yes, it's barbecue and, and all the game food seasons. But then when you get to the January season yes. and you want healthy foods, you can cook sous vide. You mm -hmm. are going to be able to, to steam in this. So you're going to be able to cook just as healthy as your slow cooking and your sauteing mm -hmm. and everything else you could do in this. It is a one pot stop. I mean, mm -hmm. everything that you normally do on top of, of a stove top, you can now do in here. Mm -hmm. Slow cook, saute, sear, braise. You can bake bread in here, which is absolutely blowing my mind that you don't even need a bread maker anymore because yes. who wants to store something that does one Just thing? Just one thing, right? Yeah. Sous vide. Those sous vide makers can be quite pricey. You can steam, you can bake. If I wanted to bake a cake in here, I could bake a cake. You could I absolutely could bake a cake. Anything I want to in here, and you have so many options, but one of the big things is the capacity. I am sorry, mm -hmm. I like big capacity, and I like it because I don't have to use it all. Exactly. But when I want to use it all, I have the option, and I'm, I'm actually just going to go get one of these pots sure, because you sure. just need to see that to believe it. And it's really elegant, too. So when you're showing the pot, I want everyone to notice, too, the color and how beautiful it is. You know, so this is something that you could bring to your table to serve uh, whatever you've cooked for your family and you know and place it on the table and it will look beautiful when you do that um, so I love that it comes with the cooking pot as well that you can even use separately uh, if you wanted to but I love the versatility I love that it's a true uh, you know eight in one and isn't look that beautiful this. and this is a perfect color for the holidays too isn't it it is this is again this is gonna be the Merlot mm -hmm. it is uh, second most limited at this point white most limited I just want you to see look at how easy that and high that handle is so easy for you to be able to pull that off at the table when you serve it because you will serve in this, you will bake in this, you will roast in this, you will sear in this. But look at the depth of this. I'm actually just going to show you. The depth is crazy. Eight and a half quart capacity. Mm -hmm. If you just go buy a pan, any pan, stock pot, whatever you want to call it, if you just buy an eight and a half quart stock pot, what you spend could easily be the price of what you're paying today. Mm -hmm. And we're giving you the extras, those um, the meat claws in addition to the, the steaming rack. Mm -hmm. This is the day, guys. Look at that. It's on beautiful. your table, voila, why don't we have a little turkey dinner it's right beautiful. here, you know? And we actually tested a six pound chicken in the pot um, and it will cook 30% faster than your bigger oven. And so you can even do a whole roast chicken. You can do your Sunday pot roast like we showed you and we'll have to go back to that because it is looks and smells amazing. But we keep talking about the bread, so I wanted to right. show you some focaccia that okay. we made. Uh, and I'm actually gonna use the um, meat uh, shredders to pick it up, <laughs> to get Good underneath idea. it. But look at the color oh, on the bottom of that focaccia. Now, how did you do that? 
that. Mm -hmm. what, what did you put that on? Bake? We did bake. We did bake. And we and you could use the proof if you're making your own dough. To be totally honest, we bought the dough at the local grocer. You know <laughs> pizza what? dough. So you can make this with the, you know, the I, pizza I, dough that you I get at your local little, grocer. I love your little cheats that you I share with us. Yes, Thank you. I love little cheats like that. So this is just pizza dough that we bought at our local grocer. And then we uh, let it proof. And then we did uh, the focaccia. But look at the color. And look at the consistency. Let me see if I can get my thumb in there, too. Look at how beautifully that is cooked. And you can see uh, how it's got that nice give to it. Um, and that is just, you know, that extra steam. It, like you said, uh, talked about baking cakes. When you bake with steam, it adds that extra little bit of moisture right. to your baked goods. And they turn out just like your favorite bakery. And so, you know, to be able to bake in it, too, you know, it is the season for baking as well. Right. So, you know, doing your sourdough breads and, and things, I think, would be delicious in here. And I, I hear the bolognese, uh, are the bolognese uh, rumbling. So let's take a look real quick here. Yes. I'm going to use the, this is a shield. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is boiling, piping hot. I'm Gorgeous. just going to transfer the lid. And you notice I just took the lid off and the spoon was resting right on top. The spoon is designed, it's got like a little notch right here. Oh, so that clever. way it rests right on top. So if you are, you know, uh, you know, leaving this for people to serve themselves as they get home from work, or, you know, or school at different hours, uh, you know, it is available, you know, to them. So I'm going to reach over for a little bowl and serve up some of this gnocchi and we chose gnocchi because it cooks fast for tv so you know mm -hmm. gnocchi cooks in about two minutes you know as opposed to pasta that would take a little bit longer but how delicious does that look with the little bits of gnocchi in there i'm gonna put a little bit of cheese but on I top just found a fork right <laughs> oh, here we just happen to have them everywhere for the <laughs> italian girl here. wow um but oh. yeah it's just um you know to be able to cook it your sauces amazing. and your stews and your pork roast you know it is definitely the season for slow cooking, but mm -hmm. now you've got, uh, you know, if you get the possible cooker, you'll have a slow cooker that can also do so much more. <laughs> Look at this cheese. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is slow cooking. This is sauteing. Mm -hmm. This is fast cooking. This is faster, 30% faster than your oven. This is sous vide. I can't believe you can do yes. sous vide. Yes. This is baking. This is steaming. This is doing everything right here. But it, to me, the capacity, the capacity, yes. and then there's the capacity. Eight and a half quarts means I can do anything, everything, but I don't have to use the entire capacity if mm -hmm. I don't need to, if I don't want to. I can just, frankly, you know, saute a little ground meat in there. Um, do absolutely. What, make some tacos. It could be for taco oh, night. for shredded pork. Absolutely. So mm. let's do some food math. So we keep saying eight and a half quarts. So what does that mean to you? That means mm. you could do chili for about 20 people. You could do pulled pork for 30 pork sliders. You can do up to nine pounds wow. of spaghetti and meatballs so that's what that uh, eight and a half quarts capacity means just so in case good. you were wondering uh <laughs> how that translates to some of your recipes so this is the pulled pork that we did i'm gonna actually just move the lid over to where the focaccia was to give me some room here are you I sure want... you're not a little italian i might i might I've, I've, i visit italy a lot because it's one of my favorite foods so yeah maybe maybe somewhere in my ancestry is a mm. bit of italian but i just i love italian food who wow. doesn't you know it's such good, good comfort it's food so good so before i start shredding this i want you to see look at how it's got the bark there so did you um, so, did you sear it first we did sear it first so that's that browning that you see on the top and that's going to give you that extra little caramelization and that's what you're used to when you go to like your favorite barbecue uh joint you know and they've got that extra little bit of bark that's mm -hmm. because they're searing it uh first and so now that we've slow cooked it let me shred into it so that way you can see uh -oh. how beautiful and tender this is look at that and so what i love about pulled pork is it's juicy it's tender Tender, it's moist. It's got all of the flavoring from whatever sauce that you used in there. And it really just takes any piece of meat and makes it so, so tender. This pot is so warm because we just finished cooking it that I'm being a little bit more gentle than I normally would. <laughs> <laughs> but it is falling apart. I'm going to uh, uh, plate some here on, or uh, I guess I should say, it, it, plating sounds so fancy for a slider. Yeah, for, but <laughs> for, for barbecue, no. <laughs> uh, here I am trying to be dainty here with it but look at how juicy tender and delicious this pulled pork turned out to be oh gnocchi, go for it God. you know and Tamara in the last show she was like we should put some of the mac and cheese on top of the uh on oh, top of the man. pulled pork sliders like like that would be delicious <laughs> um mm. but you know you could do different seasonings in here we've did wow. a barbecue seasoning but you know of course you could do different seasonings to do tacos um of course you could do you know a type of uh stew if you want to do a stew the possibilities are endless with the possible cooker but I want you to see how easy it is to make these wonderful 
uh, you know, fall dishes. It's definitely the uh, season for cooking. And look at how beautiful our shredded pork turned out. We're going to show you the colors now because we have a lot of choices here, but not going to have them much longer, okay? Understand this. I think we are approaching how many? 5,000? Close to 5,000 ordered on the day. So we are just closing in on half of our quantity for the day going gone. This is what you want. This is what you need. This is what you will use. Look at that capacity. Eight and a half quarts. It lifts out. But in the meantime, what you can do in here is saute, <coughs> sear, sous vide. You can braise in here. You can bake bread in here. You can bake a cake in here. You can slow cook. You can just keep things warm if you want to. At $119.99, this is something that is not just a holiday piece. It's not just entertaining piece. This is your, your dinner every single day. And we're giving you extras. Not only did we take, a, um, I think, $20 off of the regular price. Actually, I think we took $30 off of the regular market price. And then we added in extras on top of that. We've never featured this as a today's special. We have featured it before. Never at this price. Never as a today's special. And we even brought you some colors that you can't get anywhere except for right here. So right down here in front, most limited is going to be that white. Very beautiful, very clean for um, a stainless steel kitchen. I think that'll be very pretty. This is your charcoal. Charcoal, I believe, is exclusive to us and just beautiful. It actually is my favorite. I think when you see that on the table, can you imagine taking that right out, serving it nice and hot? And by the way, oven safe up to 500 degrees. Uh, so, second most popular is our charcoal. This is going to be your stone right here, one of my other favorites. Beautiful. This is going to be the Merlot. Merlot, also very popular. And the, our best seller is actually the Merlot. And this one is going to be your uh, sea salt gray, which is just beautiful. We're including extras. We took $30 off the price, then we're adding in a rack which is, I think, a $20 value. And then we're also adding in, these are what you're gonna use to pull that, that pulled pork apart, or however you might use it. We're including those for $15. You get the spoon, which not only is so clever, because look, it just rests right up here on the lid. Love, love what Ninja Foodie does. The, the people really think, they think about, they, they're, they're really the people who spend a lot of time in kitchens. There are so many reviews on this, guys. Read the reviews, come back though, and make sure you don't miss this today. It is something that is gonna work for you, for your family, whether it's just the two of you, whether you go from two to 20 on a holiday, it won't matter. This is gonna handle all of that. We are back to chili, although I, I gotta are. tell you, I might have to go chase down that so pulled pork. So I actually have some dessert for us at the end, but I thought it'd be nice to show everyone everything that we've uh, done this half hour. And so we started with chili. Again, that eight and a half quart capacity means you can make enough chili to feed 20. You know, so whether you're bringing this to your church group or doing this, you know, at a football game or tailgating, it is portable. You can totally bring it tailgating with you. Uh, you have the capacity to make that much chili. Plus when you put the lid and the spoon on, I everybody can serve themselves. So it's, it's perfect for like a little chili you know, bar which is what we have set up here it's like the little things that make all the difference don't they <laughs> we uh seared our uh pot roast here and then mm -hmm. this is what the pot roast looks like when it's done so we did our pot roast with our vegetables look at how juicy and tender and delicious this looks i just want them to zoom in here to show the meat here and how pork tender it is now it's just falling apart and because this can steam too mm -hmm. you're really getting that that extra moisture yes so things aren't going to dry out when you cook in here exactly i have to have one exactly more bite of this oh one. go for right. it and so yeah. this the next one that alice is digging into here. This is our um, buffalo chicken mac and cheese. This is a recipe that's included in the recipe book that you get with your possible cooker. Mm. We cooked it in the possible cooker and then brought it to the oven just to get this nice uh, crumble on the top with the with the uh, breadcrumbs there. And so it is oven safe up to 500 degrees. That's um, insane. That is insane. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that so will, that will make it crazy. <laughs> then we did mm. our, our um, uh, bolognese sauce here with our focaccia. It's so perfect for all those wonderful Italian foods if you've got some you know family favorite italian recipes you can certainly convert them for your possible cooker we did pulled pork sliders we uh, we uh, seared the pork to get that nice caramelization i gotta go and in then for we a little shredded it uh, after it had slow cooked for a couple hours so you're getting that wonderful barbecue Look flavor you can oh. also use it for your wow. tacos 
but how about some dessert? I know you're going for the pulled pork, but... Uh, you know, I'm not a dessert girl. Oh, so, really? So you go for the dessert. I'll go for the... I will eat I'm your share of dessert. That's the fine. Barbecue. <laughs> barbecue is in my blood. This is amazing. Uh, the smell of this yes, barbecue. Yes, yes. But look again. Look at the depth of this. Mm -hmm. You can cook everything. Nothing popping all over your stovetop or anything. Oh, this is mm -hmm. crazy. Okay. So this smells okay, like maybe fall to you me. Could <laughs> only if you have ice cream, though. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, we used to make have ice cream. Ice cream. I think you're going to make ice cream uh, mm -hmm. coming up here in the hour. But mm. this would be perfect with it. This is a little apple crumble that we did. So we slow cooked the apples. And then we added our oatmeal and all of our fall seasonings. And then we actually put it in the oven just for a couple minutes to get that nice uh, crunch on the top too so Whoa. to do your apple crumble you know enough to feed a crowd this is perfect for you know your next book club or girls night or you know even if you're going out apple picking uh this is perfect for that i'm sorry i'm going to go with another clean fork go and for i'm it. going back now for, should i should for, i should i bring the mac for, and cheese do you want to add the mac and cheese to it <laughs> Tamara is a skinny little girl ah. so I think I'm going to just go with the pulled pork, but let me tell but you what. But what a good combo, right? The Super. pulled pork sandwiches with the mac and cheese. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. And it's so tender. I mean, you can just pull this apart. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. And juicy and mm -hmm. delicious. You know, it's not dry. You know, it's got the, all the wonderful juices from being slow that. cooked. And so I, that is the best part. Is too that bad you, I'm on TV or else I just oh, put go this whole it. thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. But I love that you can beautiful. sear and saute and braise and mm -hmm. then slow cook too. So that way you're getting juicy, tender meats that have also been, um, you know, had that browning, had that caramelization, which is going to give you that flavor. Um, I'm so, struggling over here. No, because. go for it. Go for it. Just, you know what? We've got little towels here if you need them. Uh, there you go. You've got yeah. the tongs. Yeah, got the um, tongs. But, you know, it is, you know, it's a slow cooker that does so much more. So maybe it's time to upgrade your slow, slow cooker this fall season. If your slow cooker can't also sear your meats, if your slow mm -hmm. cooker also can't bake your breads, you know, maybe it's time to treat yourself. Mm. You know, it's, this, it's the season for eating. It's the season for good food and for entertaining. And um, we're finally, I'm looking forward to it. We're getting our first cold front in Florida this Friday. And I'm all about the cozy foods this weekend. <laughs> so good, right? I love it. I love it. She's speechless. She, She's speechless. No, <laughs> no I, my mouth is so full. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that is crazy. Look, at, one more time. Let's take a stroll. Sure, sure. Dessert. Apple crisp. Dessert first. Mm -hmm. Pulled pork. pork. Oh, yes, God. we did our focaccia and then also our uh, pasta here with the gnocchi. So you can do your pasta and your bread. Um, over here, we just have a couple other things that we've made, including the breads, the soups. It does sous vide, which is why we've got the salmon there in the, uh, in the bags. I believe you, you can, can do, do your uh, eggs. You can do your uh, boiled eggs. The mac and cheese, which has been everybody's favorite today. This recipe comes in the book when you get your uh, uh, possible cooker at home. It's a buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Our pot roast, which just looks and smells amazing. It reminds me of fall, nice and hearty and healthy. Mm. And then of course, our chili bar, which is a perfect idea for any party this How fall beautiful. season, uh, because everybody can serve themselves because it's got the spoon right on top. Here are, the, here are the color choices. Make sure, especially if you want the Merlot, you need to be ordering that one right now. The other one that's most limited is your white. But again, we're fast approaching almost half of our quantity gone on the day. You will love having this. And you're gonna love the things you can put on your table quickly, easily, and completely affordably under $120. Rochelle. I'm doing my you. little happy food dance I'm here. I'm so glad I got <laughs> glad I got you for lunchtime. Yes, yes, it's a perfect time for eating. I gotta I gotta pick my bowl now. I'm gonna go uh, uh, have some pot roast with me for lunch. I'm just telling you. The pulled pork. I might have to try the macaroni and cheese on top yeah, of the pulled top. pork. That sounds amazing. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in the ordering process for this. I think you're going to love it. And most importantly, you're going to use it. So we do have some other things we're going to be sharing with you because